Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwa. In this video, I'm going to talk about people and environment, which is an important unit of UGC NET Paper 1. While preparing for Paper 1, this section of people and environment was the most tricky one for me. Neither did I had this habit of reading, uh, reading newspaper, nor I was familiar with recent changes that was happening in the environmental front. I was in deep trouble because there were so many books and so many lengthy chapters that I was not sure if after reading so much, will I be able to answer all the questions that would come from such a big and scary topic? After analyzing previous year questions, I realized other than giving questions from topics like renewable and non-renewable resources, natural uh, calamities like floods, earthquake, they were also giving questions from some unknown topics which are not mentioned in the syllabus. So in this video, we will quickly share all the important topics that you must cover for UGC NET Paper 1 specifically for the unit People and Environment. The first most important section is the causes of air pollution. They have questions from air pollution most of the time. They don't talk much about water pollution, land pollution, soil pollution, noise pollution. They will give you a question or two most of the time from air pollution and its causes. They'll talk about the greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are the gases which trap the sun's heat and will not let the sun's heat to get out of the earth. And in return, they increase the temperature of the earth due to which global warming is happening and these icebergs are melting. Three important greenhouse gases are water vapor, methane and carbon dioxide. So do remember that these three greenhouse gases are very important. They also focus on other pollutants like CFCs. CFCs kya hai? Chlorofluorocarbons. CFCs are one of the major causes of air pollution. These are the major ingredients in air conditioner, refrigerator, television, and all the technological gadgets. These industries produce the most amount of CFCs. Apart from that, they'll focus specifically on components of air. They'll talk about nitrogen oxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide. They'll look at the important pollution areas like which gas is produced by vehicles. And the answer is carbon monoxide. Then they'll talk about all the diseases and all the problems that we are facing due to specific air pollutants. For example, they'll ask you which thing is most affected by CO2 or what problems are caused due to nitrogen dioxide. So these kind of questions. These are the areas which you need to focus on. This is a section from which one sure short question will come. So make sure that you have all these things on your tips. If you have any questions, any doubts about UGC NET Paper 1 or Paper 2, MA entrance, PhD entrance, PGT, TGT, GATE, UPSC or any other competitive exam related to English literature, feel free to reach out to us on WhatsApp. Our WhatsApp number is flagged right on your screen. You can shoot a WhatsApp message on this number and regularly get important exam updates or information related to syllabus change and much more. And if you are searching for free study material on various topics related to UTC and Paper 1 and Paper 2, then feel free to ping us on WhatsApp and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. After the causes of pollution, the next area where they focus on is the effects of pollution. They'll specifically focus on global warming. I'm telling you, a recent trend dekha gaya. What is global warming? Global warming basically happens when the temperature of Earth is increased due to greenhouse gases. And this is the reason why we are facing so many climate problems. The next important effect of pollution is smog. The entire Delhi was affected by smog last year in winters. They might ask you a question about acid rain, like causes of acid rain. What are the effects of acid rain? They'll ask you about problem faced because of acid rain. You should know that the iron pipes corrode due to acid rain. Then they'll ask about respiratory problems associated with acid rain. Taj Mahal, which is one of the seven wonders of the world, is degrading due to acid rain. They'll also ask about several other important environmental problems like desertification. Now, desertification basically means a fertile land is getting infertile or turning into a desert. The major reasons why desertification is happening is deforestation and overgrazing. Removal of the green cover is done to promote industrialization. The areas where the crops uh, can grow are deserted. The most important thing about desertification that has been asked several times in that exam is which country is prone to the risk of desertification and the country's name is Africa. So do remember Africa is the country which is at the utmost risk of desertification. By the way, talking of the previous year papers, if you are looking for past year papers of UGC NET Paper 1, 
then we invite you to visit our website right now. We have provided past 10 years paper along with answer trees free of cost on our website. You can simply go and download the paper and start your preparation right away. So now we move on to look at some important dates which are frequently asked in net exam from the unit people and environment. Every year on 5th of June, we celebrate World Environment Day. Then on 11th of July, we celebrate Population Day. Then on 1st December, we celebrate AIDS Day. Then we celebrate Water Day on 22nd of March. Then we have 7th of April and we celebrate World Health Day. These are some important dates that you must remember. Remember the dates in an order so that you will be able to guess them properly on the day of the exam. The next important area which you must cover is the important conventions and meetings which happen all around the world where people talk about environmental problems and solutions. We all know that every year there is some or the other convention in which all countries meet and all the great world leaders discuss environmental problems and they try to take a pledge to solve these problems. You must remember the names of all the important meetings and conventions that have happened so far. For example, Rio de Janeiro's Earth Summit was very important in which they talked about economic growth with sustainable development. They discussed how economic growth should happen, but it should happen while preserving the natural resources in such a manner that natural resources are not exhausted. Then there is Agenda 21, which also talks about sustainable development. It is very, very important. Then there is Kyoto Protocol, which was signed recently. Countries which signed this protocol try to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases at a really good pace. Apart from that, there are various acronyms like CITES, which means Convention on International Trade of Endangered Species. This is the type of convention on meeting where they have touched a specific area of problem. CITES specifically talks about endangered species and about stopping their trade. Endangered species are on a verge of getting extinct. Sites focused on how they should reproduce so that an ecological balance is maintained. These are some important conventions, meetings, acronyms that might come in the exam. They'll ask from some popular ones mostly. They ask you questions from recent ones too. So don't forget to look at them as well. We finally land on to the fifth section which is very important but at the same time very very tricky. Many people have trouble remembering facts and figures and this section is all about the two F's. Facts and figures. Questions from this section will be around common facts like they'll ask you which country consumes the most energy on per capita basis. You should know it is Russia. Which country uses the more bottom most? That is US. Then you should know which country produces the most amount of CO2. That is China. You should remember which country produces most pollutants. And there are so many other questions like that. Which country uses uh, which energy resource the most? Try to make a table that will help you to remember all these facts. In our online course, we cover all these sections in detail. Make sure you check out the demo lectures before you decide to enroll in our online video course for UGC Net Paper 1. If you found this video helpful, then please like this video by giving it a big fan thumbs up and also share it with the other fellow aspirants who are struggling with similar kind of questions. I'm quite eager to know how did you feel about this video. Did you like it? Not like it? Did you find it helpful? Please share your views in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, any doubts, or if you want me to make a video on any other topic, then feel free to put that in the comment section as well. With that note, I have come to the end of this video. I've tried to talk about all the five major areas which you can practice while you are studying for people and environment and preparing for UGC Net Paper 1. We'll meet you very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning. Keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwar.com.